Hey Rap Bags, it's Jade with another 7 Days to Die preview. Today, taking a look at 1.0, of course, and the brand new score that's been added. This is Grover High, a level 5 point of interest that is obviously going to be filled with some tough, absolute nails on zombies, but lots of rewards, especially if you want to get educated. So leave a like if you find this preview guide helpful, I'm just going to roll through exactly what to expect, what kind of loot you might find, and the difficulties you may face. Check out the rest of my 7 Days to Die guides and content that I'm ramping back up again on the channel after years away, and let's go. So the coordinates on a Nav-G zone map are 1724 East, 1503 South. And of course, I will be using creative mode to just give you a sense and idea of what to expect when you get to play it for yourself. But with level 5 point of interest that this place is, expect some really heavy tough creatures. There's a real smorgasbord here of everything from military to hazmat, mutated zombies, hungry female and bikers. Honestly, you name it, this place has it. It's quite a large building, but it will hopefully be a bit more offset from the city, especially if you plan on a procedure generated one. And there really is maybe just one decent place to enter and take it stage by stage, and that is by the roofs. You can go ahead if you've got an org or you've got the time and the resources, just break through some of the doors to gain access. If you're doing that, I would highlight that you go to the eastern side. If you bring the org or hopefully you've got enough equipment to get through, you can gain access quickly to a whole ton of supply crates and military gear. This is also the nearest point that you'll find a whole ton of books in the library. I'm pretty close to the principal's office, so you can go and check out he's safe too. Otherwise, if you circle round to the western side, you will find a ladder that will take you up to the rooftops. You'll be dealing with 20 to maybe 30 regular zombies across at these rooftops that will spawn in, or start making their way up from inside the school and the staircase, giving you access below. Also, do take the time to demolish some of the air vents on top, as you might find some rubbish or bags in some of them. So once that's done, now it's time to enter the school proper via the staircase downwards and clear out the floor one by one. Here's relatively not too bad, just more regular zombies will come chasing at you through the doors. You can see the pretty thick barricades there, we are going to find another way through to the rest of the school and lots of typical loot from the lockers and more. You may find a couple of bookcases in some of these classrooms nearby, but in terms of loot it's really the floor below that we're going to find the biggest concentration. If you head to the classroom to the south you'll notice a hole in the wall and this is how we're going to get past them barricades, but be warned you will come across a more elite zombie in here. It's a pretty small space as well, so you either want to make sure you've cleared everything out and they chase you, or make your way through the hole into the actual balcony area so that you can maybe get some more space and room to shoot. It's why it's not a good idea just to drop down and come through the hole and maybe start clearing things out, as you'll have to probably deal with all the zombies that get alerted on the rooftops. You're better off doing it in stages like this. So another classroom to loot, and then you can go outside onto the balcony and simply turn left and there'll be another hole into the next part of the school on the other side of the barricades. Here you might have to deal with more fat policemen and just more lots of regular zombos. You'll also get a chance to peer down into the basketball court itself where there's going to be a huge amount of enemies that will suddenly drop down. So again, be warned, don't take it too lightly just because things look a bit quiet. Fat Mama Zombie was here as well but I quickly took care of her with my nice, big, massive tactical assault rifle. I'm not going to teach you how to play the game. I haven't got a clue what kind of gear and equipment you're going to have. It's all going to be very different, but obviously you won't be trying to take this on unless you've got some really good gear, or at least other ways to lure the zombies out and use lots of defenses and traps to helpfully decimate them. Some more bookcases, mainly what you're aiming for in these classrooms. There must be over 20 books, including some of the ones that you'll find in some of the containers in this place. Also check some of the other stairwells that may have had locked doors up to the top and you might be able to find some more loot too. So once cleared out it's time to head down to the basketball court itself. As I said this is where things are going to go a bit mad and turbo with a huge amount dropping from the ceilings. Now there are certain events if you look closely on the rooftops that you'll be able to break open giving you pretty much a view directly down here and you may get the idea that you might be able to drop some bombs or grenades through it but they don't generally spawn until you actually step in here so it's a bit of a problem. Obviously dogs as well and yeah just not the best place to be you need to kite them to somewhere more narrow so I would head back up the stairs. 
kind of irks me that so many different types of zombies are spawning here and it's not maybe just restricted to lots and lots of maybe high level ones but why are the radiated zombies here? I guess the thinking is that potentially everyone from the town came here and was trying to take shelter when things went bad. Maybe scientists and more started to come with the hazmat suits and the military. But it does feel like they've just kind of been chucked all into a melting pot here of zombos just to make it difficult. Especially a bit more weird as there's no military complex outside, no military tents or anything like that. So yeah, I'm nitpicking here, but it kind of irked me. I basically wanted just like 1,000 little Timmy kids trying to eat my face off. For sure, as you can see, there are doors that lead directly into here. But I'm not too sure it's going to be any better trying to take them on, luring them outside. But whatever way you go, once you're done, look out for this construction box. And some more military gear on the table. I guess some soldiers managed to come and try and keep all day in the school as things went south. So towards the south of the actual basketball hall there will be a doorway open and again with lots of different exits and entrances outside. This is where you find quite a small cafeteria for the school. One of the smaller storage containers should hopefully have a Shamway Foods container. You do need to make a quick exit to maybe store up some gear and come back again. There is a shutter that you can activate from the inside to get out. So having made your way through, you're nearly at the main point where you get access to more military gear and all of them shipping crates. Be careful of the restrooms, plenty of creatures come out of there including spider zombies and more military. And again lots of hungry mamas. And maybe this should have been on my list at the start but I do believe still that zombies still dependent spawn on your kind of game stage that you're at. So you might not necessarily get the radiated zombie like I did, even when using cheats of course, I'm pretty advanced. But yeah, there was a couple of them here, and as you can see, just a huge selection of different types of zombies. It took a while, but eventually I was left with nothing but the bikers to finish off. So to the right of all the supplies, you will find the library entrance there. Is it knowledge or power that you crave? I'll leave it up to you. Another hardened box, obviously with lots of stuff in it. Again, that org is going to be necessary to break through, or just enjoy smashing it a billion times to get rid of its 10,000 health. It did seem to be another trigger point for more zombies as soon as I started messing around with some of this stuff so again pay attention and maybe clear out the rest of the rooms as well before you really get to work unlocking the boxes. With these fat coppers and a lumberjack as well coming at me. Once cleared out go ahead and start breaking open all of your boxes. And then finally onto the hardened box itself and see what gorgeous beautiful military loot is inside. And yeah, don't forget about the library. Like I said, there's at least five or six maybe bookshelves here. And maybe with all the rest of the books around, could be up to 10 spots where you might find lots of books teaching you. Before you head home, make sure you do go and check out the principal's office for the safe. And there you go. That's pretty much everything you need to know about the brand new Grover High School that's been added with the 1.0 update for 7 Days to Die. Let me know if this was useful, what else do you want me to do next? And I'll see you right back for more 7 Days to Die guides and news soon. Bye bye.